Hello, I've got the Tray Chic Clutch Bag die set to share with you from Tonic Studios today. It's this little die set here and there are 33 different dies there. It's really, really cute and I've already gone ahead and made two little bags. So this one was a real labour of love. I'll show you that up close in a second or two. But not only have I used a high gloss sort of mirror card there, the, the black card, but I've also lined this little bag. And this is the second little bag that I've already gone ahead and made. And I've used some speciality paper on here. And then a couple of these little dies that I've used. The little zip on the back and this little chain and tassel here are from another die set that I used not so long ago that I know loads of you loved. So I'm just going to go ahead and lift out the card that I've sorted out already. I've picked out some lovely colours and we'll just start making this bag. There are some lovely little examples on the front of the packaging there, but whenever you open it up, there are full instructions inside. And it's actually really, really easy to put together, but I'll tell you up at the top here, first of all, how many pieces of each that you need to cut out. So this is the main die here, and you'll need to cut that out twice. And then you cut two bases. So I've got one ready here, and then I'm going to cut another one to put onto the bottom of that afterwards. And then we've cut two handles but I actually cut four because I've used Craft Perfect Texture Weave card and I thought this was a good idea just to strengthen that so I've cut the two out as you can see here and then I'm just going to glue them together. You can see on these panels then that you've got some score lines and then some dotted lines as well. Now these lines are really just for guidelines to where to put the little patterned panels and now I'll just show you which way you need to fold the rest of them so that they fit properly and suit properly whenever your little bag's being assembled. So a uh, little folder is really really handy for that. So the outside edges, these glue tabs along here, the outside edges are all glue tabs actually so you'll fold those all inwards and then you can see that this is actually the front of the bag and this part here is the side. So fold that one back like that so we've got a mountain fold there. And these two are then going to be valley folds. So we'll just fold in like this. Again, crease it really, really well and then fold this one in as well. And that will give you the little part at the side of the bag where you're going to put the, um, the little die cut there. And you can see already, whenever you fold this round, that's going to be the side and it will fold in like this. I'm going to set that aside just for a moment or two while I get the rest of the stuff ready. But wh while you're going ahead with all of the die cutting, just remember that this little buckle part at the top here needs to be cut out eight times. So I've just put one of those little buckles because there's only one die in the set and I've just put that through Every time I was cutting something else, I slipped that little die in as well, so that I knew that by the time I came to the end of all my die cutting, there would be eight of those ready to go. Now, I wanted to decorate the panels, and it's much easier to do that before you go ahead and assemble the little bag. So I have cut out lots of little panels here, and I've gone ahead and got some of them ready, but I'm just going to show you how I have die cut them and how I've glued them together. On the die set here, you'll see actually in the corresponding parts of the handbag die itself, you'll see a plain die like this, and then a little decorative piece here. But you could also um, use these ones instead because these are the same shape, but with a different pattern on them. But this one then will cut out a plain shape like this. But if you use it along with the decorative one, you're going to get this lovely little panel here. And then you can go ahead and glue that on there and that will give you a lovely little decorative piece that you can then pop onto the bag there. And I thought those two colours look really, really beautiful together. I've got cornflower blue and the colour beneath that is ocean blue. And then the white just makes that pop. You could put that straight on there like that and that would be nice as well. But I thought the white just helped it pop a little bit. So we've got sides here, both sides. And then we've got this little piece for in the, the centre. You know, this little piece which I showed you how to fold in here. So I've gone ahead again and put the white in between the two pieces here. And then I've cut this piece out for the back and that's it already there. And I'm just going to go ahead and glue all of these and put them on together. 
Now, there is also a strap for the bag here. I have die cut that in cornflower blue and on some of these other ones I have glued this one, I'll actually just show you here. On this one I have glued that down in on the inside and then covered it with gold and on the black I have actually put it right down on the outside there. But on this one I think I'd really like to put this on at the back and then put the little panel on over the front of it. So I will just trim that slightly before I do that. Take a little piece off there. But you can watch as I go ahead and assemble these pieces just now. So I'm going to glue this on here and that piece on there and then I'll do the same with the other one and then I haven't actually cut my second one yet but I'm going to put that on over the bottom there just to cover all those little glue tabs. You can see on this one how I've done that there and covered all the glue tabs on that one and then on this one with the little cream piece. Now you can go ahead and add all these little pieces in. So there are actually little dots there and I'm not sure whether you can pick that up on the camera or not but there's a little dot there and there and those are guidelines as to where to put these. So it's actually really easy anyway. You just put glue on the back and pop them on like so. And you'll do the same on this side and on the back as well. And once you've done that then you can go ahead and glue another one onto the back of it. So I'll just show you how to do that. And then we'll just replicate that the whole way around the bag. So you're just popping that in behind there and lining it up so that that covers the back of that, strengthens it and holds it nice and tightly on the other side of the bag. So it's glued on in here and out here as well. See on the handles there, there are two score lines, so one right there and one further down at the tip. Set it there, maybe you could see it better. So if I fold those back, what is actually going to happen is this piece, this little tab is going to get glue on it and that will get attached on here. So you put that through the handle like this. I'll open this up first and you'll be able to see it better I think. Move that out of the road. So you're putting that through there and in there and just putting glue on that little tab and then the little tab will get connected up here and hold that just for a second or two and the handle then has a little bit of maneuverability it will move about so you can leave it like that or you can do as I've done in these others on this black on this black one here I've actually left that glue tab a lot longer because I wanted to uh, have a longer handle on that so I didn't fold it at this score line I just folded it at the bottom one and glued it on and that gave me just a slightly different shape with a longer handle and then on this one I've actually glued this quite rigidly onto the handle here and um, that gives it a shorter handle but it doesn't move the way the one that I'm making now does but um, also then I've just taken a hole punch and punched little gold circles from the same card that I used for here and put on there. So 
you know how handy I find little pegs so they are absolutely great for just holding that and I'm going to leave those on just for a moment while I make up this little bow. So I've taken this die and it cuts out the bow shape and then the little piece that folds over the centre and then I cut this one out twice and here we are. So I'm just going to fold this over, I'll put some glue in the centre here, I'll fold this over without actually, I'm actually only bending it round but not folding straight into the centre. So this piece is going to be left curved and not actually folded flat. And then once I've done that and that has taken, I can fold this bit over. So I need to put some glue on here and I'll fold this one over and pop that right in there. Now this little piece is the part that goes around the middle. So I usually just do this with tweezers because it just makes it a lot handier. I'll put a drop of glue on there and some on there. And then I've got this little piece here. And I'll just pop it on here over the top there. Bend it round. And there we are. Right onto there. Hold it again with the tweezers and I'm going to put that on here but I also want to add the little tails on the back so I'll glue those on first and then pop the lovely little bow right on top of that. I have attached a lovely little label onto that with some white ribbon and you can see that I've used some silver card on that because the debossed sentiments always look better on murder or satin card. So I've used the oval one there with the stitching around it in blue. And then I've used this little oval which has also got stitching around it. And then I've used the little debossing sentiment on top of that. But there's also a little rectangular one that you could have used as well. So that's that. And then we have also got this little bar. And you could put that across here and glue it just by the sides and then you could tuck the little uh, fold over piece down in behind that. But I just like that. I think that's really, really nifty little closure because all you do is bend this backwards and slot it into that little hole there. And that's it. Now on the others here I have used different things. I've used the bow but on this one I've turned it backwards so that you don't see the little uh, cutout pieces on it. And I've also added a little piece of black shiny card on top of that. And then I've put the little corner pieces onto that bag. And on this one here I have done the same. I've put the corner pieces and I've put the little zip. Now I want to show you the other die set that I've used here because this one is called Handbags and Lipsticks Die Set. And there it is. And I'll put the link down below to where I've used that. But those are flat 2D handbags in that one. But some elements from that can be used in this as well and I really really love the idea of using that little chain and tassel on there and then when you turn it over I've used the little zip from that die set as well on there. Three little handbags and the possibilities are absolutely endless for that because obviously you can go and have a look in your cupboard and see what you like and uh, pick colours to match or if you're going to give that as a gift to someone you could make it in the colours that suit whatever you're giving or just to suit whatever kind of handbags the person that you are giving it to really really likes and I think it looks totally different in all the different colours and you don't necessarily even have to use that handle you could actually use some ribbon on there as well or you could use a little chain but I thought that just gave an, an, a nice uh, way of showing the different ways you could use that by longer there and then shorter in these two and with the little hole punch. Don't forget little things like hole punches as well because they're really really handy just for adding little details on. I also thought that I could have made this little bag and added some little felt flowers onto the front of that as well. It would have been really nice. There are lots of little flower dies and things and there's some in this set as well that could be added onto there. So thank you very very much for watching once again. Don't forget, if you haven't already done it, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And give the video a big thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. And don't forget to leave me a little comment. And all my affiliate links for the products that I've used will be down below in the description. So thank you very, very much to everybody who uses those. And thanks very much for watching once again.
happy crafting. Bye bye.